Ready to catch some fish, Bree? Alright, so I'm here at Central Park. I'm gonna be uh, doing a multi species catch and cook with an ice rod challenge. Uh, it's pretty windy out, so we'll see. Um, what we can get done, and we'll uh, see if we can catch some fish and then cook them up. Alright guys, right now I'm hooked up with my first fish. Um, it, it is a large one best, so I'm not going to cook him. But let's go ahead and get this guy ashore. Alright, so as we can see right here, um, all I did was I caught this guy using a little power bait crappie nibble. He's not a big bass, but uh, I'm going to take him and I'm going to get a release. All right, there he is. Let's go ahead and get a release on this guy. See you, buddy. And there we go. First fish of the day. All right, guys. I just hooked up with the second largemouth. I was not able to get on camera, unfortunately. Um, but uh, probably like a four, three, four incher. Not a giant. But um, after I release this fish, I'm going to let you guys know um, what I'm doing to catch these fish. Uh, this is actually my third largemouth. The second one I wasn't able to get on camera. Let's go ahead and get a release on this guy. Alright, here we go. Just gonna drop him back. See ya. Alright, so what I have set up here is I am using an ice rod and it's like a 24 inch and I'm just using a little bobber um, and all I got on here is a little teardrop with a crappie nibble and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All I'm doing here is I'm just dropping it down into like this little pool and um, really all the, all these fish are doing they're just coming up and just eating the eating it and so far I've only caught largemouth but let's see if I can get um, a few bluegill or perch to see if we can cook them up all right come on bluegill I need one to take home to cook That's a keeper. What is it? A bluegill. Oh, yeah. Oh. What? Yeah. That's a keeper. Oh. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, I'm going to argue with my dad over whether this one's a keeper or not, but at least I was able to get a bluegill to bite, and I finally got this one on camera because the last one's. I don't even know what I've been doing, but anyway, that is a nice little bluegill right there, and uh, whether I end up keeping this one or not, uh, still a great fish to catch. Alright, just caught this little perch here. He's not uh, keepable, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let him go. And there we go. Hopefully we can get uh, a couple more bluegill. I haven't ended up keeping any... Uh, but we're going to see if I can uh, get my hands on a few bigger perch or a few bigger bluegill to cook up. Another bass. I've caught nothing but one perch, two bluegill, and five bass today. I guess it's not it's not all that bad, but it just doesn't make for a great catch and cook video when uh, the bluegill are too small, the perch are too small, and I'm not uh, eating the bass. But it's another like a five incher or five incher, and I just dropped it. But anyway, still gonna try and. Uh, Get that nice bluegill or nice perch and gonna keep trying. Alright, so I just got done fishing. I ended on I ended up uh, only keeping one fish. Uh just a bluegill. We'll uh, we'll go cook him up, he'll taste really good. But um as uh, 
total for the day. I ended up catching a total of 10 fish. I didn't get all those 10 fish on camera. I tried to get as many as I could, but self-filming is, is pretty hard when you have only two cameras. And anyway, I only un I got five bass, six bass, three bluegill, and one that I ended up keeping that was good enough to eat. And then I had uh, one perch that was not big enough to eat. So, um, yeah, uh, just got back to the truck. We'll go ahead and we'll get back and we'll uh, show you how to prepare these guys. All right, so right here I have my bluegill. Um, I'm not going to show me actually cleaning him. Um, this, it can get kind of gruesome. Whoops. Um, but anyway, um, I'll see you guys when I get this fish cleaned up. Uh, and then I'll show you what I'm doing to fry this fish up. All right, so right here I have my fish. Not that much that I got off this little bluegill, but I'm just going to take him and dip the pieces that I got into this flour. Okay, now that that is done, I'm just going to make sure that all the fish is covered. Hey, that looks good. Let's take them over to the frying pan. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my fish into this oil. And there we go. Not a whole lot of meat, but that'll be nice to taste. All right, two fish here. They're looking pretty good, nice and golden brown. Should be ready to plate them here. Okay, and there we go, we have our fish. Let's give them a taste. So now I have my fish cooked up here. Let's go ahead and give them a taste. That is really good. Mm. That is as fresh as it gets. Wow. It's so good. I didn't get much off this fish, but what I did taste is really, really good. That is, wow, that just tastes really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, the other quality was not very good, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I tried to create a video for you guys to watch, and, um, thank you so much for watching.